press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic Law of Conservation of Energy. So, energy neither be created nor be destroyed, its one form can be changed into another form. Here, we can observe that in our home, electric fan. So, electric fan, it converts electric energy to magnetic energy. Electric bulb, it converts electric energy to light energy as well as heat energy. Electric press, it converts electric energy to heat energy. So, in the whole universe, one energy is converted into another energy. That means, energy neither be created nor be destroyed, its one form can be changed into another form. Whenever, suppose this pain is freely falling under the gravity, then the energy which is stored here in the form of potential energy, that energy is converted into kinetic energy. That means, sum of potential energy and kinetic energy at every stage remains conserved. So today we are going to prove that conservation of magnetical energy of a freely falling body that means the total energy remains conserved at every stage in freely falling. Let a body of mass m is falling freely under the gravity at height h above the earth's surface. So, mass of the body is m at a here height of the body height of the body is h from the earth's surface and velocity of the body velocity is 0 so therefore potential energy of the body will be mgh because mass is here m g is acceleration due to gravity is g and h is height above the earth surface and kinetic energy of the body will be 1 by 2 into m into 0 square because it is in rest condition that means kinetic energy will be 0 therefore total energy at point A total energy at point A that means energy of A ener potential energy plus kinetic energy that means Ea is equal to potential energy is here mgh plus 0 that means total energy at point A will be mgh that is equation number 1 that is total energy is stored in the form of potential energy at point A because the body is at rest condition so only potential energy is found so sum of both the energy will be mgh after that suppose this body is falling up to point B after travelling the distance x then the remaining height will be here h minus x because this distance is x so remaining height will be here h minus x so at point b so at point b body is falling body is falling up to point b and distance travel here distance 
ट्रेवल एक्स एंड द वेलोसिटी एट बी इज सपोज स्मॉल सो देर फोर कानेटिक एनर्जी कानेटिक एनर्जी भी वन बाय टू एम वी स्क्वेयर सो यर फ्रॉम थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए एस सो यर वी स्क्वायर विल बी वी स्क्वायर यू विल बी जीरो बिकॉज एट पॉइंट ए दिस इज इनिशियल पॉइंट दिस इज फाइनल पॉइंट हियर वेलोसिटी इज वी हियर वेलोसिटी इज जीरो दैट मीन्स Here initial velocity is zero. Here velocity is v, so u will be zero plus two g x because the distance travel is x and it is falling under the gravity. That is a will be g. So v is equal to two g x. So putting this value in the in this equation, so kinetic energy will be one by two m into two g. x two two cancel out that means kinetic energy is m g x and potential energy m g h minus x the reason is that mass of the body is m acceleration due to gravity is small g and height from the earth surface is h minus x so therefore it will be m g H minus mg x. So therefore, total energy at point B is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy. So here, suppose the potential uh, total energy is E B, that is total energy at point B is equal to here mg h minus mg x. That is the potential energy plus kinetic energy is mg x. So mg x, mg x cancel. That means E B is equal to mg h. Let equation number two. So here total energy at point B also mg h. Again, let this body now strike on the ground. With velocity capital. So at point C, at point C, at point C here, height from a surface is equal to zero. So therefore, potential energy is equal to m g into zero. So potential energy is equal to zero. And from third equation of motion, v square is equal to u square plus two a s. Here v is capital V, final velocity is equal to zero square plus two. G into h because the distance travelled by the body a to c is h. So v square is equal to two g h. So therefore kinetic energy is equal to one by two m v square that is one by two m into two g h. Two two cancel out that means kinetic energy is equal to m g h. So total energy at point C, total energy at point C is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy. That means E C is equal to m g h that is zero here and kinetic energy is m g h. So that means E C is equal to zero. Let it be shown by three. From equation A, total energy at point A is mgh. At point B, mgh, and at point C, that is 
also mg h that means total energy is same so that means ea is equal to eb is equal to ec that means total energy at point a is equal to total energy at point b is equal to total energy at point c that means when it is falling freely potential energy gradually decreases and becomes zero here so one energy is decreases then another energy is increases so but the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy at every stage remains conserved suppose you are taking two bag one bag contains 5 kilo material another bag contains 10 kilo material if one by one you are transferred from one bag to another then you form the sum of the total weight or total mass of the uh, bags will be same so same way here one energy is decreases another energy is increases but their sum is always constant so that's why the energy neither be created nor be destroyed its one form can be changed into another form thank you thank you very much